money, 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 money. Hello? Hey, it's Tim from Digita. Hi, Tim. What's up? Oh, uh, you know, just trying to make sense of the whole TV measurement mess. Um, actually, on that point, so I'm checking in with different TV ad buyers and TV ad sellers heading into this year's upfronts just to get a sense of which measurement providers everyone's looking to support as currencies for this year's upfront deals. It seems like Nielsen's no longer the only game in town, though maybe it will be for one last year. Um, for you all, your agency, your clients. Which measurement providers are you all looking to get behind? Well, are we talking currency or measurement? Because there is a difference. Um, good question. A system of money in general use in a particular country. They do call it ad land. But does that mean currency is just money? Money is a matter of belief, even faith. Belief in the person paying us, belief in the person issuing the money he uses or the institutions that honor his checks or transfers. Money is not metal, it is trust inscribed. What? Well, that makes cryptocurrency currency. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? By big corporations, the government, banks, companies you've never even heard of? Mm. Nope. Welcome to Stuff You Should Know from HowStuffWorks.com. The point is, Tide is now a currency. Deer skins? I think, yeah. Those were currency once. That's where we get the word bucks from. I think what you're getting at is that currency is nothing more than a medium of exchange and a substitute for something, a good or a service. I got it. Wait. Then what's currency have to do with measuring ads? The fact or quality of being generally accepted or in use. Which means generally accepted as having value, which can mean money, but can mean other things too, like a piece of real estate or a number of viewers. So a measurement can be given a monetary value if it is recognized as having value among the members of a general group, i.e those buying and selling ads, and therefore can be exchanged for money among the members of that group, making it a currency. Tim, Tim are you still there? Hey, sorry, I'm here. I was just um, thinking. Uh, currency, so advertiser commits to spend a million dollars with the TV network, TV network commits to deliver an audience of 20 million people to that advertiser. But there needs to be some third-party measurement provider that's actually keeping count of whether those 20 million people were delivered. And so that's what I'm interested in here. Like, what are the metrics from which measurement providers that are going to be used as the basis for these transactions so that an advertiser can know if they got what they paid for? Okay, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Currency is one of those terms that can really trip people up. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> that makes sense.